All right, so today for pre-algebra class, we will be multiplying positive and negative decimals. Here's a little bit of a, of a review of our multiplication rules. So we know if we multiply two positive numbers together, we will get a positive answer. If we multiply two negative numbers together, our answer will also be positive. If we multiply a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, then our answers will be negative. So basically, if the signs are the same, if you're multiplying two positives together, or two negatives, your answer will always be positive. And then if you multiply two numbers together where the signs are different, so one's positive and one's negative, then our answer will be negative. So here's a little bit of an introduction to multiplying decimals. It's really not much different than multiplying numbers without decimals, which that will kind of make more sense as we work through our first example. But don't be afraid of multiplying just because there's some decimals because it's very similar to multiplying normal numbers. So we have four steps when we multiply decimals together. And these four steps will help us get our answer. So our first thing we are going to do is we are going to determine if our answer will be positive or negative. Well, I see our signs are the same here. They're both positive numbers we're multiplying together, so our answer will also be positive. And step two says multiply as if the decimal was not there. So we're going to pretend that that decimal is not even there, and we'll just multiply how we normally would. So 5 times 2 is 10. Write the 0, carry the 1. 5 times 2 is also 10. Got to add the one we carried we would get 11. But is 2.2 times 5 110? No. So we have to figure out where we will enter in this decimal point right here. So step three says, once you get your answer, we're going to count how many digits are to the right of the decimal in the question. So there's our decimal point right here. How many digits are to the right of it? One. So we're going to count in how many points? One. So right there, in between our first digit. So 2.2 .2 times 5 would be 11. Let's try one more. Negative 2.1 times 7. First thing we'll do is determine if our answer will be positive or negative. Well, we have a negative number times a positive number. The signs are not the same, so our answer will be negative. So I'm going to put a little negative symbol right in there. Oof, that was a bad negative symbol. Put in our negative symbol because we know our answer will be negative something. In step two, we are going to multiply as if the decimal was not there. So seven times one is seven. Then seven times two is 14. I'm going to make our seven a little bit better here. But is 2.1 times seven 147? No. So we have to count how many digits are to the right of the decimal. There's our decimal. How many digits are to the right? One. So we're going to count in from the right one place. So we would go starting here. One. Whoop. One. So our decimal point would go between the four and the seven. So we would get... 14.7. Can't forget about that negative symbol. So negative 14.7. 
Now we have more than one decimal point. So we're multiplying negative 3.1 times 3.7. First step, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Our answer will be negative because the signs are not the same. One's negative, one's positive. Step two, multiply as if the decimal was not there. So first thing we'll multiply is seven times one. Whoa. Seven times one, we would get seven. And then seven times three is 21. Now we do this number, so three times one. We gotta start off with a zero here first. Three times one, three, and three times three would get nine. Now what do we do with these? We add them together. Seven plus zero is seven. Three plus one is four. And 9 plus 2 is 11. So we just did step 2. Now we do step 3. Once you get your answer, count how many digits are to the right of the decimal in the question. So we got one digit, two digits. So we are going to count in 1, 2. So negative 3.1 times 3.7 is negative 11.47. All right, our last problem to practice together. First step, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Our answer will be positive. Multiplying two positive numbers together, the signs are the same. Step two, we're going to multiply as if the decimals were not even there. So five times two is ten, carry the one. Five times four is nine, add the one we carried, get ten. Add a zero, zero times two is zero, zero times four is zero, Add two zeros, zero times two is zero. Zero times four is also zero. Whoa, a whole bunch of zeros. Add them up, zero plus zero plus zero. Zero, one, zero. And we can actually just erase that first zero. So now we have to figure out where will, our, where will our decimal point go. So 4.2, count one digit to the right of that decimal, and then one, two. So there's three numbers to the right of the decimal points. So let's count in one, two, three. So 4.2 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.100. All right. If you guys have any questions on how to do these types of problems, please send me an email and we can set up a Google Meet to work on them together.